Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lewis Lewis Speaks 2022, and today I want to talk to you all about wounded masculinity. You know, oftentimes we throw around a term which I utterly despise, which is toxic masculinity. And I hate that term because it doesn't offer men grace. You know, we are so busy trying to demonize men, and we don't understand that a lot of us are socialized to be stoic, unemotional. We are so detached from our emotional lives that we don't know how to care and show love in a way that honors and respects other people. I think that we as men have been told not to cry, not to feel, not to love, not to express our emotions. We've been told to bury our feelings under this veneer of masculinity, under this mask. And so we put on this mask and we go out into the world and we stuff our feelings and we die early. We have what I refer to as the small deaths, which is the death of our trust. You know, we don't trust ourselves enough to feel and vent our emotions. We don't trust other people. We as men don't even trust other men. And I think that that's sad. And I know that the reason for this is because of so many atrocities committed by men. I'm not letting us off the hook. What I'm encouraging us to do is to rethink how we see masculinity. And this requires us to debunk a couple of myths. For example, it's okay for men to cry. It's okay for them to give vent to their emotions every now and again. You know, we have a lot we're dealing with. We have a lot of weight that we're carrying on our shoulders. We carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. When we think about the Sisyphean struggle, the man pushing the boulder uphill, that's what it feels like a lot of the times. As men, we are oftentimes demonized and we're not allowed to express our authority or our agency without people trying to unduly challenge us and try to dismantle our pride. You know, we are always constantly assaulted day in and day out as a black man, especially. I can share my experience. We are constantly burdened with so many stereotypes about who society thinks we are. And we're always expected to combat these stereotypes. We are always expected to sometimes even live up to these stereotypes. And when we don't, we're demonized. When we do, we're vilified. It's just like, where do we get a break? Where do we get a space to really unpack and just be and share these feelings? You know, um, I think oftentimes we don't really get the help that we need as men. We don't really go into therapy. We don't talk about our emotions. We don't really unpack certain things. And sometimes we have healthy outlets and sometimes not so healthy outlets. Sometimes we use women as rehabilitation centers. And let me just make it very clear. A woman is not your rehabilitation center. She is not a space where you go to just unpack all your burdens and leave her with the responsibility to heal you. That's your responsibility. As men, we have to own that. We have got to own our responsibility to take care of ourselves. And I think if it wasn't for a woman, oftentimes, and this is traditionally, traditionally, if it wasn't for a woman telling us to go to the doctor, many of us will not go. We are known for high rates of prostate cancer. We're known for high rates of various cancers. We're known for high rates of high blood pressure, diabetes. We're known for an unhealthy life. 
And so we have got to start taking better care of ourselves as men. We have got to start getting our physicals once a year. We've got to start relying on women and leaning on women to take care of us. We got to do it ourselves. We have got to take care of ourselves because it's nobody else's responsibility to make sure that we're getting our needs met. We are adults and part of adulting is making sure that your needs are met. And I think we have a lot of work that we have to do to heal as wounded men. We are wounded. We are burdened with so many different things and I know it has not been easy for us at all. We have been the recipients of much, much criticism. We have had to carry the sins of our fathers, the sins of our uncles, the sins of our brothers. We have been the undue recipients of suspicion, doubt. Very few people believe in men nowadays. They don't trust men. And so we're the recipients of society's mistrust. And we have to own that for many of us, we brought this on ourselves, you know, with our own actions. Everybody has a different story. This is not the be all to end all, but you have to own your, your portion and take accountability. And I think that as men, we have not been taught that to really own our stuff and not just own it, unpack it, analyze it, and heal from it. We cannot continue to blame other people. Can't do it. Because the thing about it is the people that we're blaming, sometimes they're no longer even alive. They're no longer even in our lives. And yet we're still blaming them for something that happened years ago. These people are gone. So we got to start taking some ownership and start healing. And how to heal? How? For one, we have to identify what's wrong. Many men struggle with depression and they don't get it treated. What they do instead is they act out certain behaviors. For example, there are so many men who are now incarcerated because of untreated mental health issues. They have not gotten the care and the treatment that they need because a lot of them didn't even know that they had a problem. They thought that this was just how men behave. This is just how it is, how men are. And that's not the truth. You know, they grew up with their uncles, their fathers, who socialized them to believe that men act a certain way. Men act rough and they act this and they fight and they this and they that. And that's not true. That does not make you a man. Controlling your temper, being able to discipline yourself, that is the hallmark of what it means to be a man. You know, too many people out here just doing what they want to do. And as a man, when you walk in a measured, strategic, strategic, using your mind and not so much your brawn, you know, using your mind, that right there makes you a real man, you know, not beating up on somebody, not abusing women, not womanizing or impregnating women. A lot of men believe that. They're men by how many women they can impregnate. That's ridiculous. I see too many young boys and young girls out here being destroyed. Destroyed. Mentalities in a blender because of absentee fathers, because of wounded men who have not dealt with their wounds. We gotta start dealing, men. We got to. It's important because we need us. We need role models, we need leaders, we need fathers. We need people who are going to show us. And I'm hoping that I could be that person. I'm hoping with this video that I can be that person to you and you can definitely take this video and share it with another man. 
so that way we can be the men that we were created to be. Because I know that we have a long way to go and we have a, a, so much amends we as men have, have got to make. And so I invite every man watching this, please, begin to unpack your wounds. Don't just assault other people and continue to bleed out on other people because that's not fair. Heal yourself. Love on yourself because we need us. This is Lewis Speaks, 2022, wishing you a wonderful day. Peace, y'all.